And that's where we find Creme 2's Janelle Finch, who is talking to some people in Medical Lake who are seeing their homes for the first time since Friday. And Janelle, what can you tell us? Well, of the 5,000 people living in Medical Lake, Mayor Terry Cooper estimates about 4,000 were able to return to their homes here today. But the threat of danger isn't completely gone because the fire is still burning within city limits. Monday, some people in Medical Lake unloaded the same cars they packed with their essentials Friday. For most, it's been four days since they've last seen their homes. The return is bittersweet for John Higgins. It felt pretty good knowing it's still standing. You know, but you're still heartbroken for everybody else. He says he feels for his neighbors devastated just a few streets away. Higgins is a softball coach in the school district and was previously mayor of Medical Lake. He says he knows too many in pain. It's going to be a long, long road to recover. A resident of more than 70 years, he knows while there is great loss in the community, there's also great support. It's close knit. People take care of each other. With his home still standing, he says he will also be a resource for his friends and neighbors in need. If you need something from somebody, don't, don't hesitate to ask. People are here to help. South of Campbell Street is still under level three evacuations. Spokane County Fire District 3 is urging people to not return to that area as the gray fire is still burning. The neighbor also or the mayor also announced today that utilities are up and running like power and water. People were able to access the grocery store for the first time today, as well as some of the uh, in city gas stations. But she is also urging people to stay away from where the fire is active as crews are still working to contain and control that fire. Live in Medical Lake, Janelle Finch, Crumpty News.